Hi guys! Okay, so Milk Cosmetics has just launched a brand new exciting collection celebrating the Mexican heritage and culture. This collection is beautiful, you guys. It consists of two eyeshadow palettes, a new highlighter, four gel eyeliners, three liquid lipsticks, and a six-piece brush set. Now, you all know I love swatch videos as well as dupe videos. Not only to save you beauties money if possible, but also to get more acquainted with my own makeup collection. So since I was so excited about this collection, I decided to see if I could recreate these color stories with my own palettes. Knowing full well I'm still buying these palettes. <laughs> this is why I fell in love with makeup, you guys. Pigment, beauty, culture, celebration, makeup with meaning behind it. So if you like long swatch videos or just watching someone appreciate their makeup, stay tuned because this is going to be a long but very fun video to watch. Okay, you guys, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. I am so excited to get started with swatching all of these different palettes, different shades that I think might be similar to or dupes for these new melt palettes i'm so excited about these palettes yes i'm probably buying them anyway but <laughs> i still want to go ahead and play around in some of my palettes just trying to see if i can replicate the swatch arm that was posted so let's just go ahead and get started with me telling you what palettes that i am going to be pulling from now, this first one here is my Morphe Boss Mood palette. And I grabbed this one because it does have some reds, some greens. Um, so I thought this might be one that I could pull from. Not sure though. Underneath that one, I have here my Morphe, what is this? The Stunning Vibes, I think. Yeah, the Morphe 35V which is a stunning vibes. I'm not sure this one has some really light shades in there that I might need to pull from, but I have that one as well. Next, I have up here one of my melt palettes. This is the Melt Gemini palette, and I pulled this one because I think it's going to be hard for me to find um, that kind of army or camel type green that I'm seeing in the swatches. So I might have to pull from one of my melt palettes to try to replicate that. I also have here my Morphe 3503, which is the one that just came out with that green in there. But this one has a lot of beautiful, deep, rich, warm colors for me to choose from. This one here underneath is the 35H, uh, which is the hot spot. It has all the blues and reds in it. So I think that will definitely come in handy for me. Maybe trying to dupe the Morte palette. Not sure yet, <laughs> but I'm thinking that one might come in handy. Um, this one here is one of my Cara Beauty palettes that I got not too long ago. I used this when duping that uh, ColourPop, what was it, the that gray toned palette that they just came out with. So this one is really, really pretty. I'm thinking I might have to pull a gray from here, but that is the Cara Dust to Dawn palette. Of course, I had to pull out my Ace Beauty palettes because baby, Ace Beauty has some of the most beautiful, rich eyeshadow shades on the market so I definitely pulled this one this one is the ace beauty flare and I also pulled out my ace beauty oceanic I'm not sure if I will need this one um, when trying to dupe the muerte palette but yeah this one is gorgeous down here out of <laughs> range I do have my um, be perfect Stacy Marie this is the latest one the XL Carnival palette. This one has a lot of shades for me to choose from. So I thought I'd throw this one in there as well This was the first palette that I thought of when I saw the Vita palette So for the Vita palette, I'm thinking I'm probably going to be using 
a few shades out of this burger palette because it has those beautiful oranges, reds, greens, even a green shimmer. So we're going to check this one out also. Um, this one here, <laughs> one of my favorites. This is my Jam Rock. And this one is the Rebirth. Now, Playing in Makeup by Yolando, she has uh, quite a few palettes out now that are just so deep and rich and vibrant in color. So I pulled this one out because of the reds and the yellows and the shimmery green. And last but not least, of course, you know I had to break out one of my new <laughs> Norvina palettes. This is the Volume 3, and I pulled this one out for several reasons when I saw the picture of the swatches for the new melt palettes, just the oranges, the greens, the browns. So we're going to see if this will be helpful at all when trying to dupe this palette. So this is what I'm working with you guys. <laughs> Hopefully I can come up with something similar to the swatches. So I want to start out by trying to dupe the Vita palette, which is the one with the gorgeous oranges and lime greens and yellows there's some kind of weird pukey browns in there so those might be a little difficult for me but we're going to try and get as close as possible okay i know i'm probably not going to get 100 percent match but i'm going to have fun trying okay okay so the first shade that i need to try and match is that really beautiful rich looks like a tomato type red so for the burger palette i'm going to try ketchup for the Jam Rock palette, I think I'm going to try Sell Off, this color here. So I'm going to try that. And on my Norvina palette, I'm going to try C2. So C2 here. And we're going to see if any of these appear to be similar. So this one is the Glam Light. This one is the Jam Rock. And this one is the Norvina. Okay, so just looking at those three right there, I think the Norvina is a pretty good match. Pretty good match. So I'm going to swatch one more. I think I'm going to swatch one from my Carnival palette. Um, I'm going to try Boy Bye. <laughs> so there's a pretty red in here called Boy Bye. That's pretty too, but it looks a little bit too bright. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with my Norvina volume three the shade c2 okay so i'm just going to take that and swatch that here for my first shade that red i'm going to build it up a bit because i know the picture for those swatches <laughs> has been built up okay let's just be real if it's not built up it's definitely saturated so we're going to go with this for our first shade. Okay, so it looks like the next shadow is a satin or a shimmer type shade. And it looks like a pretty deep, rich orange. So I know here in this Norvina, there is an orange um, kind of satin type shade. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch that. I'm also going to go into this Jam Rock. And I'm going to swatch this orange shimmer here, which is called Spice. Um, let's see here. Doesn't look like there's anything dark enough in there. Oh, okay. So my Ace Beauty has a shade called Firefly. So I'll swatch that one as well. And over here in the Morphe... Uh, Boss Mood palette, there is an orange shimmer in here. So let's check these four shimmers out and see what we like. So this one is from the Norvina. This one is from the Jam Rock. Ooh. 
This one is from the Ace Beauty Flare. And this one is from the Morphe Boss Mood. And it's a little crumbly. Okay, so those are the orange shimmers that I have to work with right now. I'm thinking that the Norvina is probably the closest because it's the darkest. And the other ones are a little bit too bright. So we're going to go with the Norvina. And that one is D4. So I'm just going to take D4 and place that right next to that red shade. And that's going to be our next dupe. Okay, so there is our orange satin shade. Okay, so the next color, it kind of looks like, I don't know, what looks like a slash between like a light orange and a melon type shade. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so I'm going to try out the Norvina E3, which looks like it might be a little light, but I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, tomatoes, I think tomatoes might be a little too bright, but I'll try it anyway. So tomatoes from the burger palette, pumpkin from my Ace Flare, might be a little too orangey. And then from my 3503, I'm going to try the shade Explore. Okay, so this is the Norvina. This is the burger palette. This is the Ace Flare Pumpkin. And this one is the Morphe 3503. Okay, so those are the shades that I think are similar to that third shade. And I'm kind of feeling like the Morphe, Morphe 3503 might be the closest. Y'all don't come for me in the comments, honey. Y'all know I'm blind. So, yeah, I think either Pumpkin from Ace Beauty or Morphe 3503. And yeah, that's a tough one. We're going to make an executive decision. I'm going to go with the Morphe 3503 in the shade Explore. So, I'm going to go ahead and go with this one here. Build that up right next to our shimmer. So it's nice and saturated. Okay, so that is our third shade. Okay, next we have what looks like a Cheeto, a Cheeto orange. So I don't have too many shades that look like Cheeto orange, <laughs> I don't think. Um, definitely in the Norvina, we have the A2 up here, which kind of looks like a Cheeto orange. So I'm going to swatch that. Yeah. Um, also from the burger palette, of course, we have sweet potato fries up here. So I'm going to swatch sweet potato fries. Yeah, I think that might be the only two that really look like Cheeto orange so let's swatch these this one is the norvina and this one is ooh, that was the burger <laughs> that was the burger palette so oh boy i think i'm gonna go with the burger palette just because it's a little bit brighter and it's kind of hard to tell because the picture of what the shades look like in the pan compared to what it looks like in the swatches is actually a little different. So I'm going to go with the brighter one. So I'm going to go with the sweet potato fries from the burger palette to build that up right next to that shade there. Ooh, she's, she's dusty. <laughs> she's a little dusty. Okay. Pigmentation is nice, but yeah, she's a little dusty. Okay, so that is that fourth shade, the Cheeto, Cheeto Orange. Next, we have what looks like just a basic tan, which seems like it would be easy, but sometimes those are the hardest shades to find. Um, I think, 
I got some good tans in here. So this is the Morphe 35H. Let me try a couple of these and see what we're working with. Okay, so those are two tan shades from the 35H. And like I said, it's kind of tough because the shade in the palette looks lighter than it does on the arm. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one, though, because on my skin tone, I think it matches this darker tan more so than this. So I'm going to go with this one, which is this center shade here. I don't know the name because I don't have the name sheet anymore, but this is the center shade from the 35H. And we're just going to pack that on right next to that Cheeto. And it really is just a basic tan shade. So I don't even know if you can see that on my skin tone, but that's what we're going to roll with today. Because I know if that's not a dupe, one of these shades is. <laughs> okay. Okay, so next we have what looks like a really, really dark, deep, crazy looking brown shade. Okay, so I don't think I have too many of those. Definitely not in the Norvina. Here in the Jam Rock, I do have a really dark shade here, which is Baby. So I think I'm going to swatch that. Let's see. In my XL palette, I don't think this is going to be dark enough, but I'll swatch it anyway. This is a shade Intuition. Well, it's pretty dark, actually. Yeah, these palettes have a lot of browns in them, but not this kind of deep, dark, pukey looking brown that I'm looking for. Hmm, let's see here. So this one is the Cara Beauty. Let's try this one here. Okay, so we really just have three. Three to choose from. Okay, so this one is the Jam Rock. This one is the Be Perfect Excel Carnival. And this one is the Cara Beauty. Hmm. So just at first glance, I'm thinking that it's going to have to be the Jam Rock. Because the Jam Rock is pretty dark and deep. And it's giving me the feels from the color that is in the swatches. So we're going to go with the jam rock and it has that nasty dirty pukey <laughs> like i don't know what i would call just like dingy dingy dirty brown look to it to me so i'm thinking that might be the closest to what i'm looking for okay so that's what i'm choosing for that dark shade there So right next to that dark, dark brown shade is what looks like, like some type of dark pukey green. And honestly, the only shade that I see that I think even comes close to that is in my Ace Beauty Flare. And I think it's this acorn shade. Uh, it might not be an exact match, but the thing is the color showing up on the swatch is darker to me than the one that they have in the palette. So it's kind of a tricky shade to try and match from a picture. But out of all the shadows that I have, I think that is the closest one. So I'm just going to go with that. So I'm going to put that right next to that dark, dark shade. It looks kind of similar to me to that. Yeah, that's as close as I'm going to get from what I have in front of me. Okay, so next I have that bright, bright yellow. That should be easy because I'm just going to choose from my Jam Rock Yellow, which is this shade here. Um, I have a yellow here in my burger palette, of course. 
mustard. Um, there is a yellow here in my Be Perfect palette. So I'll swatch that one also. Okay, so this is the Jam Rock. This is the Burger palette. And this is the XL Carnival. So those are the three yellows that I'm going to choose from. The one in the center is actually super bright though. I'm gonna go for the burger palette, I think, cause that one is really bright and light. So yeah, I'm gonna go for the burger palette one. Another super dusty shadow. <laughs> or maybe I'm just picking too much up, but yeah. So that is the yellow from the burger palette, which is the mustard. So that one is very, very light, very, very bright. I don't know, that might be too light. Okay, next we have the lime green. So of course I have a really pretty lime green in my Norvina. So this is a pretty light green in here, which is A4. Also have a pretty green here in the burger palette, but this one looks a little dark. This one is avocado, so I think that will be too dark. I have a light green in my carnival palette, which is ecstasy. I also have a really pretty light green shade here in my Ace Beauty, which is Sherbert. Sherbert, okay. So let's swatch these and see what we have. So this one is the Norvina. This one is the Burger Palette. This one is the Carnival Palette. And this one is the Ace Beauty Flare. Okay. And so just looking at these first glance, Hmm, that really bright lime green, ah, it kind of has a tint, a hint of yellow to it, but it's kind of tough because I can't really choose between this one, the bright, bright green and the bright yellow green. I'm going to go with this bright, bright green. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Norvina green. I'm going to take that bright green and place that next to the yellow. Pretty bright, pretty bright, might be too bright. <laughs> okay, and last but not least for this palette, we do have a green shimmer in here. So I don't have that many green shimmers, I don't think. Eh, actually, I have quite a few. <laughs> I actually have quite a few. So the one in here is too dark. So let's go ahead and swatch Party from Jamrock. Lettuce from the Burger Palette. And how about the Morphe 3503? There is a green shimmer up here. Well, there's only one green shimmer in this palette, so swatch that. Okay, so let's just make it out of those three. So this one here is the Jam Rock. This one here is the Burger Palette. And this is the Morphe 3503. I'm thinking the first one. Because just looking at the swatches, and I don't even think that one is dark enough, to be honest with you. Let's try pickles. I'm going to try pickles from my burger palette. So this is pickles. So pickles is a little bit darker. But it doesn't have that deep green richness. So yeah, it doesn't look like I have an exact match for that. Let's see, this is jellyfish. That's jellyfish from the Ace Beauty. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have an exact match for that green shimmer. But honestly, I'm thinking the Ace... No, the Jam Rock is probably going to be the closest because it has the most green hue to it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go with the Jam Rock. Uh, 
Okay, you guys. <laughs> so this is my attempt at coming close to the new Melt Vita palette coming out. Now, of course, you know, it's not an exact dupe. I don't have the palette in front of me, but this is just my attempt to dupe it from what I have in front of me. Okay, you guys, so now it's time for me to try and dupe the Muerte <laughs> or come close to the Muerte. Now, this palette is one that speaks directly to my heart. So let's go ahead and try and get close to this Muerte palette. So the first shade looks like a really, really light shimmer, maybe like a champagne shimmer color. So I'm going to start off with... Mm, no, you know what? Let me start over here. So there is a really, really light champagne looking color here in my Norvina. So I'm going to take that. That one doesn't look very opaque though. There is a pretty champagne color here in my Morphe 35H, the hot spot. And it looks like those are the only two that I would go for to try and dupe. So this one is the Norvina. And this one is the Morphe Hotspot. So just right off the bat, I think the Morphe Hotspot looks more like it because it has more of that champagne-y shimmer to it. So we're going to go with that. So I'm just going to swatch this as that first shade. building it up so it can match the saturated <laughs> promo pics. <laughs> okay, next we have a really pretty, I don't know what that is, kind of like a corally melon type red. That one might be tricky. That one might be tricky for me. Okay, so jam rock. Yeah, no. Mm, burger palette. Tomatoes. Yeah, let's try tomatoes. Ace Beauty. Saffron, hot spot. I don't know what. Sh no, that's a little too pinky. Um, the thirty five oh three. We're gonna go into explore, and I think that might be it. Okay, so this is the burger palette tomatoes. This is the Ace Beauty saffron, and this is the Morphe. 3503 Explore. None of them look like a good match to me. The first one, yeah, none of them look like a good match. Let me keep looking. Okay, I'm going to try Sell Out from the Jam Rock. Stacy Marie, Boy Bye. Hot Spot. I don't know what color that is. This is the Jam Rock. The Stacy Marie. And the hot spot. Okay, those look a bit closer. I'm thinking this one here. Yeah, I'm thinking this one here. So that one is the Jam Rock sellout or sell off. Next, it looks like we have a really deep, dark burgundy shade. Very beautiful, deep, dark burgundy shade. So, okay, so I have this shade here. This shade here. This looks a little bit more burgundy. So I'm going to try this one here, which is Sweet Beats. This one here out of the 3503 warning label. Barbecue sauce out of the burger palette. And let's see what these look like. So this is the Boss Mood. This is the 3503. And this is the burger palette. Yeah, none of those are really doing it for me, to be honest with you. I'm going to try Fatty out of the Jam Rock.
Yeah, none of these are dark enough to me. If I had to choose, it would be this one here out of the um, Boss Mood palette. So I'm just going to go with that one because that's the deepest one. It looks most like a deep burgundy to me. Over here messing up my palettes to find dupes for a palette that I'm going to buy anyway. Kind of sense do that make. <laughs> kind of sense do that make. So that's going to be my dupe shade for the third one. Okay, next looks like a really deep, deep, deep dark plum shade. Now that is really dark. Okay, so I'm going in my Stacy Marie. The shade here, which is Reckless. Very dark, plummy shade. Going to this shade from my 35M Power Slayer. Those might be the only two. So that's the Carnival. And that's the Morphe. Ooh, I think I got a winner with the Carnival. So this is the shade Reckless from the Carnival palette. Deep, dark, plum type shade. Oh, that is gorgeous. Whether it's a dupe or not, it's still gorgeous. <laughs> so that is that shade there. Okay, so next we get to jump into the blues. So the first one is a blue shimmer and as many blue palettes as I have I didn't want to pull a million blue palettes out so I'm going to try and find something close with what I have here my options down here are none up here for my ace beauty ace beauté we have a couple of blue shimmers uh and that's a very interesting blue color. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to match that. Very interesting. I might not be able to. So this is Bay. This is Marina. And this is Bora Bora. So let's see if any of these come close. Bay. Marina. Bora Bora. Bora Bora is obviously too light. Marina looks actually kind of close. It looks kind of close and it is gorgeous. And Bora Bora, baby. Can somebody take me to Bora Bora, please, honey? <laughs> so, so far I'm thinking Marina might be the closest. But Bora Bora is definitely the prettiest. Let's see what else we have. I have a blue shimmer here in my hot spot. I think I have a couple of them, yeah. So these are from the hot spot. I don't have the name sheet. Uh, that's more like a satin. But that actually looks kind of close, to be honest with you. Ah, they're both really pretty. But so far, this one looks the closest in color but it doesn't have that pretty shine like this one here, Marina. This is the vibes, yeah. So out of the 35V, I swatch this and this, and this one too, I guess. Okay, so out of the 35V, I have this one, this one, and this one. Hmm. None of which are very impressive as far as shine factor goes. So, honestly, eh, I think I'm going to go with <laughs> Bora Bora because it's so pretty. I don't know. Marina might be the best match, but Bora Bora is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to go with Marina because I'm going to try and get close. So, I'm going to go with Marina. child you see that mm, mm, mm. that is gorgeous might not be the right blue but honey it's pretty <laughs> it's so pretty okay so next we have that deep dark navy blue 
Uh, let me start down here. So with my Jamrock, I have the color Gal. Really pretty deep blue shade here. I don't know if it's deep enough though. In my Carnival palette, I have Mood. In my Ace Beauté, I have Lagoon. So let's try these three. So this is Jamrock, Carnival, Ace Beauté. Ooh, Ace Beauté is a little dusty, huh? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I think the Ace Beauté probably is going to be the better match. So I'm going with Lagoon. Okay, so that is the blue that I'm going with from the Ace Beauté, the color Lagoon. I think that's pretty close. Okay, so next it looks like there's a really dark gray, and I don't have a lot of grays in my palettes. So the only gray that I think I'm going to have to come close to that is from my Cara Beauty. And on this bottom row here that has all the beautiful, you know, gray tone, smoky shades, I'm just going to take this dark, dark gray here because I think that's going to be the closest match for that gray. And I don't have any other grays. <laughs> so we're going to go with this for the dark gray. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Y'all see that pigmentation? Oh. That is gorgeous. And that is a true dark gray. Okay, so the next color, I don't really know how to describe that. It looks like a really deep, it's a blue, but it's just, it's a really deep, unique shade of blue so that one might be a little tricky for me um okay here from the ace beauté i'm gonna go into pacific because that has kind of that same feel but it might be a little bit too green uh let's see here okay so in the 35h there's a really pretty blue in here it looks like it might be a match and then in the 35V, there's an interesting blue up here, up top. Let me swatch that. So this is the Ace Beauté. Oh, that looks like it might be a match. This is the Hot Spot. And this is the 35V. So yeah, it's a, a very unique shade of blue. But I think we might have a match with the Ace Beauté Pacific. The one in the middle actually looks like it might be closer. Dang it. Yeah, the one in the middle looks like it might be closer, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go with the 35H shade. So this one here is in this bottom area here. Sorry, I don't have the names for those, for that palette. But I'm going to go with that right one. Next, next to that gray. Oh, I must say, this is a beautiful color story. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Oh, this color story is just so beautiful. Okay. So we got that shade. Yeah, that looks pretty close to me. I think this shade here, the third shade, is not dark enough. I'm going to have to find a darker shade for that third shade. That's not dark enough. Okay, home stretch. Now we are to the super duper minty green. And I don't have too many of those, so this should be easy. It's kind of like a minty teal type shade. So here in my carnival palette, I have Y though. So I'm going to swatch Y though. In my Cara Beauty palette, I have this shade here. Really, really light. That might be too light, actually. Really light. And it's not really minty enough. It's more teal. 
I need something kind of minty. Nah, honey, I don't know. Okay, and then in my hot spot, I have a light teal shade here. I don't know if that's going to be light enough, though. <sighs> okay, so what do we start with? So this is the Carnival. This is the Car of Beauty. And this is the hot spot. All of those are really pretty, but none of them pull uh, green enough. It looks, in the swatch picture, it looks a little bit green. Hmm. I think for now, I'm just going to go with this one here. This light, light shade here. I have the shade Fiji from the Ace Beauté. Let's try Fiji. That looks like it's going to be too dark. But it's closer to the tone that I'm looking for, I think. Is it? But is it, though? It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> ah, I can't do that shade. That sucks. It's like, I think that these are close, but... It's just missing that hint of green. So I'm going to go with this one. Why though? <laughs> Which I think the name fits perfectly because a oh, why though? Why can I not find and I do not have a dupe shade for that. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're going to go with why though. And uh, you yeah, know, yeah. that's just going to have to be as close as I can get. You can't win them all, right? You can't win them all. But why, though? <laughs> oh, that's a pretty shade, though. I mean, it's close, but it just, it's just not that minty, that light minty color that I'm looking for. <sighs> okay, and so for that shimmer, I really don't have a lot of options because it's like a minty colored shimmer. So... Um, okay, so back in the carnival, I have the shade here, which is, sorry, you guys can't see, I got too many palettes, Peppermint, so I'm going to swatch Peppermint. In my Ace Beauté, I'm going to, and this is the uh, flare, I'm going to swatch Bayberry, and I think those are the only two that are going to come close, so this is the... Carnival Peppermint, and this is the Ace Beauty Flare Bayberry. So once again, same thing. They don't have that kind of minty color to them, but they're both very pretty. I think I'm going to go with the darker one. I'm going to go with the Peppermint from the Carnival palette, just because in the swatch, it looks more pigmented in their swatch as far as color goes. Okay. So this is Peppermint. And I definitely need a darker burgundy shade for here. So let me see if I can find a darker burgundy. Okay, so for shade number three, that dark burgundy shade, I did go ahead and just wipe that one off so I can replace it. Because I want something darker. I pulled my Blushing Berries palette from Dose of Colors. And I'm pretty sure that this shade here is going to be a nice, deeper, richer burgundy shade. So I'm going to swatch that there. And hopefully I'm not wrong about it being a better, better match. Okay, you guys, so this is my attempt at duping the new Melt Muerte palette. Even though it's not an exact dupe, I think it is a beautiful color story. <laughs> it definitely is. Um, I had to look through a wide range of palettes, which is no fun. But it is fun just kind of playing in your makeup sometimes just to get a feel for what you have. I have become a lot more acquainted with my... <laughs> 
palettes from swatching today. So anyways, I think it's beautiful, even though it's not an exact match. Yeah, I'm probably still going to buy the palettes, but I had a lot of fun doing this anyway. So, yeah, there you have it. Thank you.